Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing the Nongchim brand of ramen. I did taste test their original flavor, which you can see right here if you haven't watched that video. Not right now, later. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing their different flavor, which is... The Shin Ramen, which is super spicy. Now, I'm going to show you everything up close, the front, the back, the contents. So, let's go! So I bought this from the Raz. Here is my parcel. You can see the other stuff that I also bought along with it. This ramen does not have the halal certificate on it. So the seller is selling these noodles as halal. So they have sent along with the noodles a printout of a halal certificate. So I'm going to be eating these knowing that the seller has sold them as halal. So here is the ramen up close. Here you can see it's made in Korea. They have given a very generous amount, 120 grams, very filling. So here are the cooking instructions. I'm gonna cook this exactly how it's mentioned, right over here. Mmm, noodle smells great. Here we have the noodle cake. The noodles are made from wheat flour, potato starch, vegetable oil, salt, mineral salts, emulsifier, soy sauce, sweetener, flour, flavor enhancers, green tea extract, and color. Ooh. Then we have the flakes. I like how everything is coordinating with the outside packet. Here are the vegetable flakes. The vegetable flakes are dried vegetables, dried mushrooms, soybean, soy sauce, wheat gluten. And then we have the soup base. Ooh, everything looks really spicy. The soup base powder is made from hydrolyzed vegetable protein, soy, maltodextrin, yeast extract, salt, spices, soy sauce, soybean, wheat flavor, wheat flour, flavor enhancer, sugar, glucose, vegetable oil contains soy, emulsifier, soy thickener, corn flour, vegetable color, anti-caking agent. So what I showed you everything up close, let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. So what we'll need for the toppings, I have it ready here. Some spring onions, a teaspoon of butter and some corn. I think corn really goes very well with super spicy stuff. So I'm going to be using corn. You can use any other vegetable that you want. Okay, so let's prepare our toppings first. Okay, add the teaspoon of butter. Adding in the spring onions. Ugh, should have dried the spring onions a bit better. And corn. So on low heat, let this just cook till it kind of browns. Okay, let's focus on the noodles. Okay, we have our pot here. So 550 ml of bottled water. When this comes to a boil, then we just add these. Okay. So let me show you what we're looking for. We're looking for this browning. These sweet corn kernels look so plump and juicy. Almost coming to a boil. When it comes to a rolling boil, then we're going to add everything. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Time to add in the noodles. Flakes and soup base powder. Give it a good stir. Break up the noodles apart a bit so that they cook evenly. I'll see you in four and a half minutes. You can see it's gotten more brown. Turn off the heat at this point. It is going to do something which is known as residual cooking, also called carry over cooking, is when the food continues to cook after it has been removed from a heat source. And it pretty much looks like how we want it to look at this point. Okay, four minutes are up. Time to plate up. Mmm. Adding in the crunchy toppings. Some more. I think I got all of it. Time to eat. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's so hot. Mm. 
Oof. Yeah, that's hot. <sighs> that is super spicy. Oh, jinx. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very hot. Just took one bite. It doesn't feel that bad. But finishing all of this. Oof. Yeah. The soup itself is very flavorful and spicy, but the spiciness has been toned down by the butter. Psych, it has not. It's still so spicy. Uh, it's perfect for a monsoon season. Mm. Now the noodles have a bite to them. They are springy and chewy. In this case, it's a good thing because it's swimming in soup and it would have gone mushy and soggy. So the noodle cake is tightly packed in such a way as to not overcook them, which is great. So the dehydrated vegetables hydrated very well, as you can see right here. Now on the packet, they just mentioned dried vegetables, dried mushrooms, soybeans, soy sauce, wheat gluten. Why aren't they mentioning exactly what kind of vegetables they added? Hmm, weird. Okay, adding in the toppings, totally optional up to you, but I do it because it just provides the additional textures which are needed to liven up the chewy noodles. Yes, your mouth is going to be hurting. It is super spicy. Now, this is known as the Shin Red Ramyun Noodles. And for the people seeking more spice in their life, Shin Red is the ramyun for you. Twice as spicy as the original Shin Ramyun, Shin Red is the spiciest one of them all. Smooth, firm, chewy noodles that everyone loves and a soup with an intense, rich flavor that packs a punch. Shin Red has an addictive, spicy taste that will keep you coming back for more. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.